Today's video is how to make dog fur and angora rabbit blend yarn a single ply. This is Nulo. He's the dog that is donating the fur, a German Shepherd Siberian Husky mix, and he's not a fan of Barbie. This is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, and let's get started. You want to gather your dog fur, you want to set up your drying racks, we just brushed Nulo to get it. We ran our warm, our hot water, we added soap. Nulo's fur was difficult to felt, um, and so we could really mix it around. We let it soak, squeezed out the water, let it run clear, made sure there was no dog scent. We spread it out on drying racks, let it dry, just air dry, no fan or anything on it. When you're making yarn with dog, you really want to make sure it dries well, and you really want to make sure every single dog scent is out of it. So we used our scale, we divided it up into what we wanted. Our singles are going to be approximately 1.8 ounces, a little bit more dog fur than Angora. We used our fine tooth drum carter and we cleaned it off before use because we rarely clean our drum carter when we're done with it. We're going to alternate with our Angora fiber and our dog fur. So we just load the drum carter, top load the drum carter, we're going to take it off, and that was the first pass through the drum carter, and we need to send it through the drum carter again. So this is the second pass through the drum carter. It's time to remove the bat. We're going to get ready to spin. Our bat looked like this. Not fully blended. Just a little bit of variation. You're going to start by pulling a section off of your bat. You're going to join it on your leader line. And you want to spin a thin and consistent single. Let's keep spinning. Maybe a little bit faster. Maybe we'll spin like eight times faster. Let's just take a picture of what's going on here. So this is a still picture of what it looks like. And when you're spinning the dog fur and you're spinning the Angora blend, it takes quite a while to spin a thin single. Obviously, if you want, you can spin this a different way. For us, this is just what worked. And the reason why we did a dog fur and angora fiber blend is to make sure that there's softness because the final product of what we're going to make with this is going to be a crocheted dog doll from the actual angora and dog fur yarn. So this yarn, this single, it took probably four hours with interruptions to spin the single to spin the 1.8 ounces. So feel free to subscribe for more fiber arts videos. Check out our podcast, Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC, and our website, RazzleDazzleRabbitry.com.